Hey guys, welcome back here to Adventure Camping. Tactical Nut with another knife review for you. Today I'm going to be talking about the Kershaw Asset. Um, as you can see here, this is the spring assisted. Give you a little look at the. This is handle scales of glass filled nylon. Give you a look at the other side, pocket clip, fairly deep carry. Um, with all pocket clips, I will say though, I wish that all of them were more of a SOG style uh, deep carry where it comes over the edge and so almost all of the knife or all of it is actually in your pocket, but you know, I'll take what I can get. Most knives don't do that. This is a right handed carry knife only tip up and tip down options. Um, as I said multiple times, I am a tip down kind of guy because when I pull it out of my pocket I can immediately deploy it and get to work with doing whatever I need to do um, another look at your number now this blade style I love the shape of this blade um, unfortunately though and you can see the thickness here very fine tip this is what I'm just going to categorize as an EDC knife this is not going to be a woods blade I say this because one the blades really thin is a liner lock which the lockup is excellent on this but it is only a partial pillar construction as you can see the back is closed in so that is going to catch a lot of dirt and grime wouldn't be too difficult to clean out but that is just going to be more of a hassle it adds more weight this is somewhat heavy for a pocket knife in my opinion for you know a three inch blade the steel HCR 13 MOV so Excellent budget steel, top of the line, just like your OS 8. My only complaint, I love this steel, but my only compl complaint with this is that the finish they put on this one, which I'm probably never going to get again, is called the bead blast finish. Now, after all the research, because typically OS 8 steel and HR 13 are, are pretty good at being rust resistant, but this one I've had to clean rust off of multiple times and maybe you can see here towards the base of the blade some rust is starting to form right down there again um, because this finish actually makes the steel more prone to rusting now as you can see here this is a one-handed open and close but if you notice on the close this part right here comes to a stop all by itself and then it takes a little bit of effort to get it to pop the rest of the way but it's still easily one-handed open and done now the handle scales like I said the glass glass filled nylon uh, good traction on it this is the old school uh, traction coating as you can see all the new Kershaw's have a case all over it but this does not because I've had this obviously I bought this before they started doing that been using it for a while now. It has been excellent for all of your EDC tasks. Cutting open boxes, cutting up boxes, um, opening packages, letters, opening, you know, cutting plastic bottles, cutting, you know, all that kind of stuff. Plastic packages. It's been good for that. As Kershaw really does, or always does, sending an awesomely sharp knife. I've touched this up a few times, that's all I've had to do is touch it up, but as you can see here, I could basically, like you would a feather stick, I can do it with paper. I mean, it can do some teeny tiny precision cuts, because once again, that blade tip is very fine, so you can do lots of detail work with it. Um, and I've put it through all of its paces, but like I said, I would keep this as an EDC knife. Another reason why, the top. No jimping. I like, if I'm going to be using a knife out in the woods and carving something heavy or whatever, I want to be able to have some really good traction on my thumb. Um, the next reason you see here, there's no jimping on the liner lock bar. A lot of knives do that. This one does not. So, yeah, I mean, I don't really feel like I'm going to lose my grip. Your this is going to act as a, your flipper is going to act as a finger guard, but if I'm doing heavy work, I want to know that my hand is locked in there. So, perfect EDC blade, great EDC blade, 
not a woods blade. So just wanted to make that known. I do like the pocket clip. The pocket clip was not too sh firm in the pocket, so it didn't shred my pants up too much like all of them eventually will. So just something to consider. But like I said before, this is a right side only tip up, tip down. There is no holes for the other side. There is, however, a lanyard hole, but it is pretty small. Um, let me put a piece of paper up here so you can make it see it better. So, not going to fit 550 cord, a thin piece of leather, something like that. But as I've mentioned in other videos, I don't really put lanyards on my knives, especially pocket knives. Some people do, they like that kind of thing. I use the pocket clip so I don't have to worry about fishing it out of my pocket. But, you know, teach his own, whatever you want to do. So, just kind of sum up awesome little blade if you can get it in a different finish I'm not sure if that option is available I would stay away from bead blast but as you can see it says on there to speed safe that is Kershaw's kind of patented design um, great flipper I use it in my car constantly it is a little slow to come out for a spring assisted but I've never had anything go wrong with it whatsoever and I do this all the time when I'm driving back and forth to work one reason, because I just like to play with knives, too. Um, I'm trying to simulate years worth of use on the knife and uh, a few months that I'm using it. This one, this could almost be a year that I've had this one and been using it. Used it a ton in food prep, but also used it for all of my everyday needs. So it's worked excellent for all of those. Uh, as you can see even here, the blade alignment is perfect. There is no play in back and forth, side to side. I mean, it is locked in there. It has been, I mean, for $20, you can't beat this knife. I'm telling, well, maybe you can. I got another one I'm going to review shortly that, uh, I, I would say it might beat it, but you know what? I mean, definitely worth the purchase. I hope this helps you. Good steel, great handle scales, few complaints with the lack of jimping, um, but for an EDC blade, uh, no big deal, just not a woods blade. So, hope this helps you. Kershaw's, love them, get them, highly recommend them. What else do you need? Always in the meantime, be prepared, have fun.